Exactly one year ago I had my first encounter with Sardinian glowworms. They have been with me ever since, now for 20 years, very nearly half of my life. That is why I now declare the 25th of May my first contact day. On May 25th of 2004 I found the very first larvae of Sardinian glowworms under a tree on, well, Sardinia. Most likely this one male specimen was among those. It was the only one of the larvae that I collected that turned into an adult male. It is the sire of my entire captive bred population of Lampyrus sardinie. That is why I preserved it in resin. Those are all the Sardinian glowworms I currently keep. A bunch of generation 26 larvae, some of them still hatching, a lot of more eggs and some very few specimens still of generation 25. Immediately after filming this I looked through the egg clutch boxes and quite a few of them contained no or very few eggs. I think I noticed a trend of reduced reproduction in the last few years but I did not take detailed head counts most of the time. Well, uh, this will change now and I will get more into record keeping again. Maybe I can narrow down the issue. Sadly, reduced fertility due to inbreeding seems likely. On the other hand, I have heard about stable, highly inbred insect strains that collapsed just when they were finally outbred again. So uh, we'll see. I hope I can keep my Sardinian glowworm population stable at least until say generation 30 or longer hopefully. To get there I have slightly improved my rearing and breeding methods and I will produce some updated video guides about that in the foreseeable future. Also because another anniversary regarding my Sardinian glowworms is right around the corner. Anyway, for now, happy first contact day, I guess.